Hello everybody, so it's here again with another tiny rogue run and today I'm gonna try to do the most busted build in the game Which is a mage build to be honest uh, Other than the fact that you can go hero sword But if you go mage this guy you gain plus one mana on level two four and six and we're gonna try to force a mana build pretty much And if I can get ten mana or more, it's gonna be completely and utterly busted and broken uh, Let's go money. I guess uh, This guy starts with this laser beam it seems which is a weapon so the laser beam is this thing, it spends 0.2 mana per attack, and it's trash, we happen to roll trash, which is minus one to all scaling, very nice. We also have grants 25% increased mana, uh, stats granted by mana draining weapons, and plus one max mana, plus three intelligence there, that's very lucky. Obviously intelligence is something we care about. There's also a secret here, but we can't really go to it. Another high roll into ooh, two keys and three intelligence, three intelligence of course. That was a double high roll. Feels bad, but still, obviously, we go for it. Let's go for two bombs. The shop would also have been good. In general, the early shop's good. It sells you a ha hat, and this guy doesn't already have a hat, therefore, that's useless. Let's go with good old laser beams and plus intelligence. I think this guy's one of the most powerful ones, by the way. Uh, let's go charm. Charms are always nice. Okay, we're fighting the Goblin Kingo. Avoid. Uh, we just want to find a good weapon, by the way. Laser beam, whatever. Attack speed madness. Got him. Next fight. He jumps. He jumps again. And then he shoots out two times. Three times the food. Woo. No. What shall we actually do? Now what he's gonna do now? Another death from the go king. Easy fight in general. Ten souls. Let's see what we're gonna get as our first charm. Hopefully pet charm because I'm busted lucky. I mean, we got a rare charm. That's something. And this is the power belt. I'm most likely going to go for that. Plus 5 to resolve value of item. That's godlike for money. And this is 20 power. And 20 power is increased damage and increased area of effect. Uh, increased companion damage. Well, I think we're going to go with infinite money over 20 power. 20 power is good. Don't get me wrong. And there is a power is power buff that I would like to get. Uh, power also increases, as I said, range. I mean, power is good. Now nah, let's go with money is money. This is literally the first item I found. This is gonna give us infinite money. And this might even transition us into the money build. Although with the mage, I wouldn't really want to go that route. But still, intelligence is here. Let's go. Uh, for the path, by the way, I'm thinking we're going the good path. Uh, the, the lawful path. Not the good path, not the evil. The lawful path. A uh, reason being that I think the good path... Not the good path. The lawful path has cheaper soul spending and i do care about soul spending we got a spear intelligence against a bomb obviously actually not obviously but still eh, spear, spear is good but laser is better <laughs> we got a level i think we need a bomb for the right side there or we're gonna lose life let's see what we get as our first spell your companions on kill or on combat start spawn a mana star and not really crits you cannot crit that's not good for a mage for sure explosion damage inflicts burn and burn damage deals additional is based on explosion inflict damage Additionally, each point of power grants you 5% increased burn damage. Each point of power, we could have had 20 power. This could have been 100% increased burn damage. This could have been an insane run just from this. Well, we're gonna roll these all away. Grants you an aura. Your equipment load is halved, but you always do crushing hit. Here we go. Grants harms increased stats granted by mana star. To, uh, by mana to mana draining weapons. And normally mana is 25% more damage. So now mana is 50% more damage. We're gonna go on common weapons. We should be lucky enough to find at least one major weapon in here. Prism Staff seems cool. Is a uh, magic damage. God Awful Spark Wand. That's lightning damage. It's crossbow. Okay, because this is God Awful, we're gonna go with the Prism. And the Prism Staff looks something like this. Nope, that's not it. This. Okay, it's the same thing. Triple Laser Beam. Okay, obviously, this is awesome. Um, if not awesome, it's very powerful, that's for sure. Strength, a key for an event, always go event. What is this? Take the bird. The bird is the busted pet, right? Yeah, 0.5 second of visibility after dashing. The best pet in the game. Five souls is good. That's gonna give us plus one mana. Now, the best in slot item in game that we want to get, bear none, no matter what happens, is going to be the body armor. Let's go with glove, whatever. Is gonna be the body armor that doubles our intelligence gaining. So all your mana gets doubled, that's what it does. If we get that, we won. I mean, we won already because I'm playing. I have flex. Uh, we won already because the mage is completely and utterly busted. 
And I actually mean that. No flex. Attack speed here with a good old mana staff and you're gone. Easy enough. Get my spirits, we're at 25. As I said, we're gonna try to go lawful, just so we don't have to deal with anything. Okay, we got a nice glove here as a rare. And it high roll into gain increased attack speed equal to your current weapon crit hit chance. Wow. That's really good. That's 100% attack speed because I'm a mage. Yeah, increase the body damage, reduce the... No, no, we're going here. Nice. So, because I'm gonna play mage, and mages always get a harm and attack crit chance, this is instantly harm and crit chance. Uh, as I said, I want to go lawful. Let's go lawful. Good sells these, mostly. And lawful sells random stuff. Let's go good. Good path. Mm, I'm still on the fence. Let's go good path. Critical hit chance. These are expensive. Magic damage. And it only costs six souls. Nice. And this is at least cheap. Crit chance, but it's a ring, which we're going to throw at 14. No, we're going to buy this for six. And off we go. And that's pretty much money I just bought. We're going to sell it for money. On the pawn shop. Uh, we also do care about, obviously, getting this. Uh, intelligence for sure. We want to get more mana by that. Uh, also, in general, the plan is to keep mana high. I want to not be attacking all the time. Go for consumables. This might high roll into giving us more stats for free. Wait, stop attacking. Attack again. And we high rolled into it. Plus three intelligence. Plus one intelligence for the next three intelligence gains. So that's pretty much plus three intelligence, but slowly gained. And also doesn't count as food for level up purposes. Boom, go to intelligence here. Shop against the Kia Kia for sure. And there is an underground bunker there. Which I don't even want to open, man. If it's the underground shop, I don't even have enough stuff. Let's go with money over the tavern. Yeah, there was no reason to open that up. It could have had the chest inside, so that would have needed two keys. And if it was the underground shop, I would have sold two items for becoming evil for no reason. Let's go with keys. We're gonna find the pawn shop when the time comes. The triple laser at face is good. Nice. Any secrets? No. Strength against bombs. Let's go bombs. I don't care about strength in the first place. We will try to get the thing that says... the um, What is it called? The intelligence gives you double, triple stats. So, that's that. Helmet. I'm gonna roll into sets if possible. Charm is good. Let's go charm. That's my accessory, by the way. Increase mana damage. Oh, that's what I bought previously? That was not smart. Attack speed madness. With the buff from the mana star. Avoid getting cursed. Stop attacking for a moment. Wait for the mana to fill up. It's up. Let's go. Mana stars again. Uh, the mana stars makes it so that I gain 25% of my mana back. And I gain, I think, 25 or 50% attack speed. And there is a meta progression, not a meta progression, a trait that gives you that the buff lasts longer and it's 100% better or something. And I definitely want that because we will be attacking and we will be using mana to gain the mana star buff. To attack faster, to do more damage, and that loops. For the exact reading here, um, no, the mana star is found in intelligence, I think. I don't know whether you find the mana star. Uh, well, I'm gonna find it somewhere at some point. So, let's see what we find. Increase attack speed with guns and cannons. Useless. Grants 25 increase attack speed, but reduce weapon damage. By 50%. Uh, when you spend gold, you gain souls. That's godlike for us. And 3 strength. We take this. Guaranteed. And we equip it right now. And this is godlike for us because souls give you mana. Every 30 souls, we will gain 1 mana. So, every time we spend coins here, we're gonna be gaining mana slowly. Dexterity 3. I would say it is worth it. Even though we're not a dexterity build, I believe it's worth it. You know what I would also like to find, maybe, if I'm lucky enough? The awesome thing that says... I'm out of mana, by the way. Uh, the awesome thing that says uh, reverse the encumbered effects. These ones. These ones here. And instead of losing the damage, losing crit chance, losing movement speed, stamina, and mana recovery, I actually increase those. The strength, intelligence can strength guaranteed, yes. It's not strength, it's dexterity, whatever. It's a guaranteed yes. Because I'm a mana build, only build. I don't need attack speed, I don't need anything else. I mean, attack speed's always a must. 
But still, crit chances gives us attacks, but anyway. Am I encumbered? No. Let's get the level. Let's hope I'm gonna get either the mana star buff, or the more mana we have, the more it gives us. We found two auras, which are good in general, but I don't want these. Let's roll and hope for the best. Harms increase effect and duration of the mana star buff, that's good. Intelligence increases the buff. Intelligence additionally grants increase of the buff effects and the aura radius. Uh, we're gonna go here. The mana buffs better. So 100% increase effect and duration. The effect is 25% more attack speed and 25% less mana drain. I guess mana refund for 4 seconds. Now it's 50% more attack speed, 50% mana drain, and for 8 seconds. So it should loop in itself pretty much. Yeah, and this is us with the buff because I had the buff while going in this. And now we're without the buff. And now we're with the buff again. Which, that's the play. And obviously we want more mana. Pop the bomb, get keys, get a soul star. Uh, but you know what? I'm gonna get a book to have it in the back burner. You never know what good book might appear here. This might literally give you a best in slot, if you're lucky enough, of course. And it might give you complete and utter trash, but the game itself might also give you complete and utter trash. Your hits against bleeding enemies inflict vulnerability. Vulnerability is 20% more damage taken. I'm not inflicting bleed to the opponent, so that is actually trash, but still. Pawn shop, that's money. Off you go. Um, definitely forget this thing existing. And this, and this, the laser, and we keep those, this is useless, let's go. Tavern is what I would say for maybe bombs, that's a dice, we're not gonna get the dice though because I'm only, this is my NPC and he only gives you if you have a good weapon, and I don't, I have a blue one, you need a yellow at minimum. Uh, I'm gonna go key, I would like to find the bomb guy that sells bombs for five, so let's start spending a couple of coins here for the bomb boy. Here we got him like right away. Yes for five, yes for five, yes for five, yes for five. Let's just get as many as we can. I don't really need the money per se. Let's go keys. Avoid. And now we have enough bombs for the rest of the game while also having, I would say, enough keys for a while. Keys for a while, <laughs> the other for the rest of the game. Intelligence. Oh, nope, no, no, mimic. Always go Mimic, if you have the choice to go Mimic. Mimic 1 is dead, Mimic 2 is dead, and we got a bunch of bombs, a galaxy armor which actually gives us orbital speed and orbital related stuff, that is money in my book. Shock wand, another wand, this is blue, my wand is, uh, I mean this is yellow, and this is god awful, so 20% reduced damage done. 5 stacks of shock each hit, oh, it just instantly hits for shock. And bubble wand, <laughs> it's a joke, <laughs> that's what that is. Uh, let's go with a pair of boots that I'm missing. Why not? How many red dice do I have? Eight. Now I have a pair of boots. Lightning and then laser. And then lightning again. Nope, laser for sure. Forget the lightning even existing. Lightning, laser. I need to stop attacking. I can attack again. Lightning, laser. Toof, 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 toof. Let's not forget the more max mana I have, the less... I tried to dash there, but I didn't hit. Dash. The more max mana I have, the more uh, damage we do. I should have gotten hit. I dodged because I have the birds of immunity. The birds of immunity, man. Half a second of immunity whenever you dash. <laughs> the best uh, bird pet out there. The best pet out there, man. And you can only get it from an event. Laser beams. Oh, that seems like a decent set of boots. On dash, spawn a mana star. Perfect. That's actually godlike. Unlucky hit, explosions, art. No, we're going here. On dash, spawn a mana star. Ooh, and you instantly pick it up. This is godlike. Okay, now I would like to find the thing that says when you pick up a mana star, meteor drops. Although I don't really want that. Uh, once again, I can use this later. So for now, we're keeping this so I can go into my good path. Two soul hearts for a bomb is maybe the best trade ever. I, in, I should be dashing every time I enter a room, just to get this mana star buff idea from here on out. Pop the bomb, get my two spirit hearts, a legendary weapon, if I'm lucky and it high rolls, a random blessing. Let's get the random blessing, get my star. I'm seeing the poison behind us. And this is, attunes all your equipment items that don't have attune effects. That is useless. A rare weapon, off we go. We found a book, Icicle Tome. Each point of intelligence gives you lucky hit chance, otherwise it's a weapon, nice. Candy Crash, on picking up a mana star, 
Nice. Gain 10 stacks of Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush is 10% increased attack and movement speed per stack. Lasts up to 1 second. Up to 10 stacks. You instantly get all the stacks. 0 0.13 mana use here. 15 on this. This very far range means global. Far means not global. I would like to get this because I have mana star play. On dash, recover one point of mana. Is this a mana pulse pistol? Slow though. Ooh, I do enjoy this. Mana regen on dash. I'm gonna go with this though. I'm gonna do this sugar rush. And when I do this, we attack like crazy. Okay, so this is a mimic. Let's dash again. With a mana star pickup. Whoa, this seems crazy. Laser beam seems safer. <laughs> okay, we're gonna obviously drink all these. Add that tune effect, whatever. This is a useless potion. Drink strength, drink dex. Invincibility time after dashing. And 50,000 bombs. Pawn shop, that's money. That's money. So the candy scroll. I'm keeping the laser staff, man. This thing is safe. I don't care about anything else. We keep the laser stuff. It's safe and safe does good. You're selling, you're sold, and we stick to the rest. Let's go on. Magic weapon or set item. Magic weapon. Maybe it's gonna be a legendary. Maybe not. Who knows? I mean, the game knows. And RNG knows. Whoop, avoid. These have shielding, so they don't take that much damage. Let's see what we find. And we found a snow wand, a blue useless weapon. It's this thing. And what does it do? Cold damage. That's it. And we found a fiery orbital. That does fire damage. <laughs> I'm finding so many useless things. Souls. Souls is a guaranteed yes. Okay, I wouldn't say it's as good as the laser beam. I wouldn't say it does enough AoE. We definitely want a better weapon that's tracking and whatnot. We found our secret here. The secrets are harder and harder to see lately. Plus one heart, also useless. <laughs> Maintain my damage boost here with my stars and whatnot. I still want to find the thing that says uh, mana additionally gives you more max damage based on how much mana you have, something like that. That is also pretty important. Everything is rare. Mm, yeah, let's go with everything is rare. Laser beams, let's do this. Go close. Oh, that, that, that was a huge mistake, the double dash there. He's giving me dashes back. Nice. Go close. Dash through. Double dash for no reason. Ah, come on, man. Come on. That was so unfair. Uh, I mean, unfair. What am I calling unfair right now? I'm calling unfair the fact that he walked towards me. And I didn't have a dash for the time. And I just walked with him. That's what I call unfair. <laughs> Um, so it is not unfair is what I might say. Okay. We now will have three choices. I think we lost a spirit heart there. Okay. This is plus one in a pet. We definitely get the companion. Runs 50 power, but breaks if you deal more than 9,000 damage. Yeah, that's easy. Done. Your companions grant gain crit chance based on your... No, we're going here. And now I have... 1.7 or whatever seconds of immunity when I dash. Yeah. Regeneration stamina 0 0.5. Should it be at misc? Where should that be? You know what? It doesn't matter. We have 1.1 second of damage immunity when we dash. Uh, we're going lawful once again, as I said. Yep, let's hope this is cheap. Intelligence, that's a yes. Is this a pet? Increased damage. Cold damage. I mean, might as well buy this for money. Uh, this might have been cheaper. Eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm at... Oh! I was going good? I was going good. And I decided to go awful. Well, now we're going lawful. Forget goodness. Change of plan. This is never gonna get used. This is gonna get sold. It is what it is. I spent my spirits uh, mistakenly wrong. It's okay. I, I, you know what? I would say these need colors. Evil good should be yellow, dark, and chaotic lawful should be white and purple. So you can differentiate what you are already trying to invest into. But, but, I'm going to also mention that it's my own stupidity here that is the reason why we fail at this. It doesn't matter. Let's go fight the Reaper. I just didn't remember what I fought last time and I don't want to repeat bosses. Got my max health. Money against resin. I'm gonna go money. Spending money gives us soul spirits. Souls. And soul obviously gives us damage. I need a better weapon. Whoop. Souls give us damage because souls give us mana. Intelligence. 
for sure. We want to get our levels fast. Let's pop a secret here before I forget later. I really enjoy the fact that I don't need to actually um, wait a tad to stop and stop attacking. And I can just dash. Dexterity. I'm gonna say yes. Just get whatever stats possible. A great knee here, for example. Because I have a lot of mana, I can just dash. And I maintain my mana because the dash tower now gives me half the mana back. So I'm spending half the mana I should have. Definitely go shopping. Oh, especially in this area. This is... Sea Urchin. It's an offhand, which we don't have. 14 coins, 13 coins, 7 coins, 8 coins. This is a buff. This is heal. Let's get the buff. I mainly care about getting the souls, by the way. Drink the buff and let's go on. This is money. Do I care about money? I care about intelligence. Or strength, for that matter. Uh, because I want the level. I got... Uh, we were immune there because of the insane one second immunity when I dash. And let's see if I can get... Mana stars now give you high-end damage. Uh, well, these are bad. But I got the on picking up a mana star I drop a meteor. So at least it combos with the uh, on dash spawn a mana star. This is useless for us. This is also useless. I'm not gonna play burn. And this is forced. So when I dash, I gain a mana star. I'm gonna get a mana star. Three meteor swap. Souls against event. Always event. Peril. Snatch it. Yes. I need to hit it. Okay. Done. And this gives us 50% increased magic find. Instead of soul find. I mean... We're gonna sell a common... Man, 50% magic find is insane. I'm gonna definitely go this. This is most of the time a level. And you can even see what it's gonna give you before you actually are forced into that. Meteor rain. <laughs> five bombs. Nope, I'm not gonna spend... How much health? One health for five bombs, that's a no. Rare on all. I'm gonna say yes. Man, I'll start with meteor. Boom, boom, boom. Meteor again. Boom, 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 boom. Missed it. Meteor again. Meteor again, always loop around the corner on this map. Always, always, always. This phase is extremely easy. Just just loop around. If you see something coming close to you, you can just dodge. You don't need to leave to though. And Meteor, and Meteor, and you're gone. Meteor Madness! Da -da 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 -da. Boom, 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 boom. Meteors only, man. Meteors only. <laughs> Theoretically, I can just triple dash and the Meteor, Meteor, Meteor. Yeah, look at this insanity. That's an, wow, the meteor build, man. Maybe I should go dashes instead of going for mana. What is this a block? A decent. Plus one. Maximum companion capacity. Your companions go in 25% reduce stats to you. So you get one more, but 25% less stats. So instead of giving me 0 0.5, they give me 0 0.33. And then I have three of them, so they give me 0 0.9. Now that doesn't that bad. No. Compression, no. Burning is better. Your burn tick speed is better and your burn deals more damage. I guess block is the play. I don't have enough though for block. Let's roll these. I mean, ah, that was an everything is rare. I should always keep the roll for everything is legendary. As we always find an everything is legendary throughout these ones. This is a legendary and this is triple the mana. I just found my best in slot. <laughs> this is literally the best in slot. Forget this existing. Actually, drink the potion. Forget the potion, stupid. Let's go. So I just got double my damage. And now I will start scaling mana whenever I get the chance to. Here. Yes. This is plus two mana. Here we go. Boom. The, every point of mana is 20... 50% actually. 50%... 40% more damage. Every point of mana. So the weapon from 50 to 185 is doing 565 to 2000 right now. And we're not there yet. Uh, blessing against bombs. I'm gonna say yes. And we're not even there yet. Meteors, please. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. How many meteors drop? Three meteors. Okay. Random blessing. Equipped items. I don't care about this. Rare weapon. Maybe. Maybe the time has come for their rare weapon of choice. Snapfire wand. Class A. This does cold damage and flex vulnerability. Vulnerability is 20% more damage done. Thunderstorm scroll. With high crit chance and lightning damage. I do enjoy this. I know that that weapon is insane in general. S on strength, whatever. Dexterity. Uh, five... Oh, no. We're going here. Let's go with the ice madness attack speed build. I don't care about the snow one. 
Give me the sapphire wand. The ice wand. It's a machine gun weapon. Definitely blue is worse than yellow. All of these. Nope, nope, this is worse. Let's see the machine gun weapon. It also spends stamina a lot faster than the other one. Um, yeah, I guess what we're going back to. <laughs> Should have gone with the electricity wand, by the way. This seems awesome, but it's not. 800 to 1,000. 5,000 to 2,000. Yeah, I mean, 8,000 to 1,000. This is correct here. This does more, man. This does straight up more. This is a f joke. Off into the resin we go. I don't want to reroll the single-sided side. Meteors, please. Meteors, please, again. Meteors, please, again. Doof, 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 doof. Still alive. Still alive. Pinecone. Drink it. Give me a... Uh, the Excited Intelligence. Give me a cell items, please. Very important. Meteors. Meteors again. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Corner play. Corner play. Avoid the lasers. The meteors take a while to drop, by the way. The bombs are gonna get hit mostly from them. Money is what I would say. Actually, reroll is what I would say. Now we're gonna keep the reroll for boss fights. I'm still with the stupid stuff from the start of the fight, the game. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable money, tavern, keys. I'm gonna go a key. Dash through, meteor drops. Another meteor drop. And that's health, and that's my health. I mean, both of these are health pretty much. Meteor drops. Again. Pow, 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 pow. 20,000 damage. And then at the end, 50,000 drop. Let's go with an offhand, which we don't have yet. Meteor drops. Yep. Meteor drops again. And the boss is dead. And off to phase two, I guess. Where it goes in the middle. And we dash two or three times and then it dies. We're not. Still raining. Still alive. Still alive. Let's go machine gun with the ice weapon. Which does less here. Meteor drop time. Boom, 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 boom. Who's now the Phoenix? Phoenix? I'm the Phoenix. Phoenix? I'm gonna keep the rerolls for floor eight or nine. Epic. Nice. That's an offhand shield. Obviously. Grand immunity to be getting pushed. Nope. During combat, practically launch a missile that explodes, dealing damage. Sounds cool. On dash, your next primary attack is a lucky hit. Uh, cycles through a repeating sequence of granting fire, cold, lightning, or whatever else. Uh, none of them. None of them. I guess we're gonna get the ring. I need to sell something. Jar of goo. That's uh, uncommon. Maybe the life vest because it's a set. I don't know. We're gonna get the epic, obviously. And we're obviously not gonna equip it because it's gonna give us good old equipment load issues. And off we go. Off we go. And here we're gonna get even more intelligence. And mana again. I mean, oh, we only have 21 from the next one then. Intelligence, of course. The intelligence was correct. The mana is what I meant to say, though. The fact that I'm gonna get more intelligence was correct. Does this now do more damage? Nope, nope, still does less. Intelligence against dexterity, that's a yes. Where's my dexterity at? At 8. Okay, then it's a yes. If it was at 0, then it would have been a maybe no. But at 8, it's an easy yes. Whoa, I don't have a dash, I don't have a dash. Nice, survived. Get my stars at the end. Legendary weapon against... Ah, let's actually roll. Yeah, let's get a weapon. I'm gonna high roll. Dragon chests always have legendary. Oh, come on, man. I, I tried to predict that. I literally, if you look it back, I tried to predict it by dashing. Let's get legendary. Found one. Fiend Commander Codex. A and A. Never had this before. It's trash, so minus one on scaling, so it's S and S normally. And it's a primary attack deals this amount of strike damage, inflicts companion sign. Grant four imp companions. Imp attack this amount of damage. Each imp grants 5% increased attack speed. Companion sign is a debuff that makes the target take 50% increased damage from companions. Okay, obviously we're gonna take this. Snow Wand, you leave, you join. What does this look like as in a weapon? Oh, it shoots these bats. I wouldn't say it's an insane weapon. Pawn shop time. Obviously I'm not gonna sell the field. I'm not gonna send, sell it. Sell it. Sell everything else other than that one legendary, including the splendid one. Please magic find. No, I still want souls more than magic find. Sell everything, sell everything, sell everything. Jar of goo for 15. 
Okay, uh, let's go shopping, I would say. What is this? Primary attack damage. Mana potion. Might as well buy these. We have money. And we want the souls in the first place. Let's get the random buff. This is a... What is this? An offhand. 10% damage for 5 coins. Yeah, might as well. Event's always a yes. Uh, the event is... Buff one of your weapons. Right? Greetings, Traveler. Don't be afraid. I've never encountered a talking dragon before. I was once an ancient silver dragon. That's, once again, me. <laughs> a direct descendant of the mighty silver dragon Bahamut himself. Now I serve those responsible for my late downfall. But I have never sworn an oath to the enemy. The enemy is my friend. They have you weapon deserving of a dragon's breath. With a single exhale, I can sear into your permanent an echo of an ancient power, armament. Just drop the weapon in front of me and I'll tell you which enhancement you desire. I'm gonna obviously use this thing. Although I wouldn't really want this. Each imp grants you attack speed. Okay. Ecor, Arcane, Star, Necrotic. Okay. Ecor, I'm assuming poison. Necrotic, I'm assuming necrotic. Star is gonna make it a magic item. And already is a magic item, so this doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, sell this on the ground. Let's go with... Arcane is gonna make it a magic item. Let's go with Star then. Okay, so it's Star now. Excuse me. Can I pick it up or... Glad to help. Oh, I need to go away. Okay. <laughs> It's glorious. Twinkling. Plus one weapon upgrade level. That's it. Plus one weapon upgrade level. Okay, I mean, that's 10% damage. Uh, let's go with dexterity, obviously. And now we're out of keys. Ah, this does not feel like a good weapon. This does not feel like a good weapon. Do you know what feels like a good weapon? This stupid thing. I should have leveled up the laser gun. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I'm playing with a stupid laser gun from the south of the game. Each point, critical hits. Gain harms and increase stats from intelligence. Obviously, we're gonna go with this with 33 intelligence. And now I have a capacity issue. And yeah, it's gonna be you then. We still have a capacity issue. We still have a capacity issue. Okay. That's gonna be you. The zero. 15. Well, I guess it has to be the wizard hat then. Plus one mana, which is actually plus two mana. Stars on dash is definitely not leaving. And 60% attack speed is also not leaving. Man, this is a trash weapon and I'm super sad about it. Let's go power up my Prism Staff. The time has come. Prism Staff is the play, man. Prism Staff build. Here we go. Nobody has seen this before. The most stupid build in the game. Prism Staff build. Starting weapon laser build, man. Starting weapon laser build. Wouldn't expect that now, did you? And <laughs> we even got meteors. Uh, everything is rare, but we're gonna get cursed. No. How about roll the left side only? Unless... Uh, exactly. <laughs> Unless we high roll into everything is legendary, is what I wanted to say, but I wasn't fast enough. Okay. Meteors, please. No, 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 no. I've never seen any pattern other than the two I'm always avoiding. I'm super afraid about getting uh, cursed. I mean, that's the one thing this guy does. Meteors, man. Meteors, man. <laughs> With the stupid prism staff. <gasps> Twinkle commander, what are you doing, man? Should have been Twinkle prism staff. <laughs> Legendaries only. Glove. Potions are insane. Who cares? Three hearts. Yeah, this is... Uh, you flip through what attacks you do. Okay, potions are insane. is pretty much a force here. And... Uh, oof. 73% attack speed, man. I mean, potions are insane is what we're gonna get. The other two are straight up and no. Said this is guaranteed no, and this is also no. I don't... I mean, lucky hits... Uh, cursed hits is the only bad thing. Lucky hits, crits, ruthless, and crushing are all really good. Uh, your attack cycle through repeating sequence of these. You know what? This is it. Crits. Oh, this is, this is actually really decent. Crits is useless for us. Lucky hits is bad-ish. Actually, actually, so lucky hits and cursed hits make it so that you roll twice to get a crit. Right now, I have a 73% crit hit multiplier anyway. So the lucky hits are going to be guaranteed crits. The cursed hits are 50-50 on missing the crit. Crits are crits. Ruthless hits are 100% more damage done high end. And crushing hits are you always do high end. So between these choices, 1, 2, 3, 4 are good. And this is almost nothing. 
I will still stick to the souls low. This can tune almost instantly. And we are going into the law path. This time guaranteed. Yes, if we're going to the law path. Let's look what there is, but I'm not going to buy anything. Plus one mana. I will buy one thing. Five to resale value. Dashes are insane. Pets or three intelligence. I'm going to say resale value is useless now. This needs attunement three. I'm going to say intelligence is useless. Let's get the plus one mana for 10 souls. And then I'm going to spend another 38 souls for another plus one mana here. And then uh, if I don't find another resell thing, we're going to get rid of that other thing. Nice. So my intelligence is going to go even higher now. Here we go. Now we do even more damage. Imagine having a good weapon, man. Just imagine. Imagine that being a thing. A good weapon. <laughs> Let's go with popping bombs here. Can you just imagine how busted we are? Emblem of Bahamut. You do more damage based on your goodness. Up to 40% against the thing I have right now, which is you roll between crits and whatnot. Multiple potions. That's good. Could have had the gloves that say potions are insane. Maybe that was also a play, by the way. That glove. I have 60 legendary weapons. Let's go! SNS. I do enjoy this already. Borog Wand. So this is a weapon, a ranged weapon. Insane amounts of damage. I like it. Hyper Beam Staff. 3,000 to 14,000 damage. I'm taking this. 8 attack speed. SNS. Can only be activated for 4 seconds at a time and then has a cooldown of 4 seconds. I don't care. Within 4 seconds, everything's dead. Inferno Orb. I think I had that. It shoots around. S on dexterity. Slow attack speed. Michelangelo, Michelangelo. S and X and on intelligence. Does all the elemental damage. Fire, ice, lightning, and poison. All of them at the same time. This is also insane. Yeah, I think I want the hyper beam though. It's also happy. I'm gonna go hyper beam. 3,000 to 14,000 damage. Let's go. We're going hyper beam, man. All in the stupidity. All in the stupidity. Cooling down. Hyper beam stuff charged. Ah, very anticlimactic. Okay, where can I see the charge? So if I keep the button pressed, I want to see it. Okay, just shoots on its own when the button is pressed. So we just keep the button pressed. We run in a room and then everything's dead. That's what I understand. Let's see this in action. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, it works. I want to see it in a boss fight, obviously. It does work, though. <laughs> Let's go for money. Come on. Nice. Got him in time. 20,000 on the crit there. And the meteors. Yep, forgot to dash. Intelligence. Dash and then laser beam. Whoop. Instant death. Nice. Wait for the cooldown. Okay, go. Dash, laser beam. Whoop. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> this is insane, man. It's it's insane. Completely busted. We broke the game. Trigger a lightning effect grants increased fire damage. Triggering a fire effect grants increased cold damage. Triggering a cold effect grants increased lightning damage. And now Sift realizes that. Imagine if we had the triple bow. 100% increased fire damage. 100% increased cold damage. 100 increased this, this would have been the godlike play with the triple bow. But we're a mage. On draining accumulated amount of mana, trigger lightning. This is pretty much forced, as I don't want tripsiness, and I definitely don't want this. So off into this, forced onto us. And now I really hope that we're gonna get that each point of mana also increases your high-end damage. I'm not ready. No, I shot! Well, laser beam it is. If I make a mistake, we go back to laser beam, which is, by the way, might be more busted than anything else still. Whoop, no! This is intelligence scaling. Take this, drink it, take this, drink it. Plus one armor, who cares? Money and money. Uh, the lantern is useless. Might as well buy this weapon. This is also useless. Might as well pay this weapon. We're gonna just sell them if if I'm lucky enough. And if I get the goodness. Dexterity for maybe levels. Yeah, laser beam. What's happening? Laser beam! Hyper beam is bugged. That's good to know. Uh, we're definitely gonna roll four legendaries here. Uh, epics are also good. Should I? Yeah, I'm gonna accept epics. We still have two floors to go through anyway. Come on, you're gonna go under. I'm waiting for it. Jump, I guess. Laser beam then. Okay, I'm waiting for my cooldown. Red, let's go. O or not. Or not. Dashing through, let's go. Uh, gone! Got him. I should have gotten hit though, but got him. Destroyed him. How fast do I spend energy with this? I don't. Look how many of these fishes it throws out. Look how often... First of all, it, it stays active very long. What did I get? Attacks with bows and crossbows. Trigger stuff. 
On dash, shoot out projectiles. Suppression. Lucky hits and cursed hit equal to the greater of the two. Pretty much all of them are useless. And I cannot reroll them. I had the curse this whole time. I don't know what I was thinking. We're running around with the curse in my bag. I guess we're gonna get this. Because I can have it there and it does not affect anything. I mean, I'm still good at encumbrance issues. Wait, if I don't have encumbrance issues, I should wear something, right? A helmet. The helmet I just threw away because it was too heavy. But no! Yes. Laser beam! I should have gotten hit. Didn't get hit. The laser beam lasts a long while. There should be some kind of indication as to where the laser beam is. As to the loading. Oh, this is insane. <laughs> insane! Bye-bye everything. No, 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 no. I have two dashes and I'm spending them. Bomb this for free. Let's go into it. Laser beam. Dashing, dashing. Meteors, 15,000 damage there. And we got a level. Let's go. Have room stuff recharged. Critical hits on kill. On combat star, it's one mana star. Lightning damage from you and your companions with fragility to burning enemies. I mean, none of these. I want the specifics thing. And we didn't get it. Unlucky. Boost buff is permanent, I guess, is what we're gonna go with. Crit hit multiplier at close range. I mean, we're gonna go with this first. Anytime you trigger a damage lightning effect, the effect trigger an additional time. We're gonna go here. I'm super sad we didn't find what we wanted, which is mana stars give you 20% high, more high-end damage. We're gonna go with 150% crit damage at close range. As I am a close range build anyway, we're a laser beam build. Uh, sh shop. I still keep the rerolls. What is this legendary? Nope. To block. Grand Threat Private Secrets, trigger damage, crit chance with swords, lightning damage, all of these are useless to us. Lightning damage is good, but 40% damage is also good. And, I mean, at the end of the day, also these hits are good. Where's, what's my, what, my, laser beam? Laser beam. That was not fun. It's a bit weird how it works. Uh, time to power this up, I guess, once. It feels like I have something that powers up my weapons anyway. Nope, I don't. Okay, craft my weapon up. Happy still. Tavern, we have 101 coins. We're gonna spend here even more money for souls. Very nice. Okay, so this does nothing. I mean, it does something, but I would prefer throwing it out. Is there something we would like to do here? Buy bombs, maybe. Nah, strength intelligence for sure. Should I high roll? Do I believe in high roll? I mean, I do believe in high roll in general. I should have drunk. Ah. That's something I forgot to do. Well, that was a big mistake. We lost a lot of damage for no reason. Hyperbeam does strength. Does strength, yes. But does strength do hyperbeam? Something is wrong with the beam, by the way. I'm, I'm keeping the button pressed all the time, waiting for it. Okay, go in. Now it's not. Now it actually works. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it works. I don't know. Plus for intelligence there. Uh, we're gonna go another good old star. Lucky star. I'm a visible. And my crit chance, by the way, is 101%, and we do 150% more damage close range. Everything's legendary. Or epic. Everything's legendary epic. Legendary or epic. So items. Legendary or epic. Legendary or epic. Or magic weapon. Okay, magic weapon. Here we go. Because this is only gonna give us choices for weapons. Look how much mana we have. This guy's not gonna survive. Laser beam, go! Go, go, laser beam, go! <laughs> Almost didn't fire, man. Fire laser beam. Fire laser beam. Fire laser beam, fire laser beam, got him. Got him. Woo! Man, the laser beam is so risky on how it works. It, there should be a line somewhere showing that it's loading up or not. You see, now it's shooting. I stopped shooting. It's not shooting. I think it's gonna be shooting for a while. Now it's shooting. Oh, is this a legendary? Yes, Starfall of Unlimited Power. That's the most powerful weapon in the game. Beetle Wand. Ruby Wand, Acorn. Yeah, we're gonna get the god awful, most powerful weapon in the game. Uh, this is useless at this point. Three. I mean, this is more useless as there are no longer any selling shops. And let's get the most powerful weapon in the game, this electricity thing. But say, if you have done this run before, I mean, first of all, this gives us AOE because power also gives you AOE. Look at the explosions of the meteors, man. This is insanely stupid. We're going lawful, right? Can I also go something else? Nope, lawful forced into it now. 
I would have liked to go a devil. I, would, I want to destroy the devil before he even did a single thing. Dud? Did? Done a single thing? I don't know. More stats. Tracking electricity shot. Wait, what? This is not the most powerful weapon in the game? Okay. Look at all the meteors at the end. Uh, I got the equipment capacity, so that's actually nice. Laser beam. Oh, this is definitely more powerful. But you know what else it also is? Lackluster. <laughs> because it stops shooting mid-run. Okay, this is no longer possible to be gained. Actually, there are shops. Are there shops? There are shops. Let's go for a buff. Yeah, definitely, definitely, right now, machine gun's better. Sip, sip, sip. Nice. Uh, crit hit chance. Forget that. That's a joke. Highest attribute, obviously, yes. Okay. I mean, hyper beam is for the ball. I, I didn't have dashes there. I'm at two life. Let's also drink a potion. Lucky hit chance. Why not? What's my lucky hit chance at? Zero. Let's go resins then. 2.5, I don't think it would do any big difference. I mean, with the speed at which we're attacking, it would have made a difference. Hyper beam. Let's drink this. You know what? I think there are no more gold shops. Yeah, this is a soul shop. So let's wear this. That's gonna give us random hits of random elements. The other choice is to go with 40% damage. But I think random hits with random stuff is better. Assuming that the game knows what it's doing. And gave us something that is actually insane. Look at the bombs. The meteors, man. Where are the meteors? Let's go with mana drain. Reduction. Trying to get all the meteors to just pop on the opponents. That's what we want to be doing. Crit hit multiplier. Yes, we are crit build. And also running close increases the crit damage we do. By 150%. So we need to keep that in mind too. Rest spot. Useless for us. Magic weapon. I'm gonna say yes to another magic weapon. I do enjoy this idea of going for... Ma ah, that's a curse though. I don't care. I don't care about the curse. Let's do this dragon. We attack you. You go under, as you always do. And then when you come over, it's gonna be hyper beam in the face. And that's gonna be that. Okay, let's go hyper beam. I'm ready for it. Come on up here. Up here in time. Up here in time. Got him in time. And let's do another one. Hyper beam him to death. Laser beam. Fire, 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 fire. Laser beam, fire. Laser beam. Oh, opponent got melted. Oh. <laughs> Completely busted. And we got a curse. That means the reward's gonna be low rolled. No, I just got the curse. That's what it meant. And we high rolled the legendary here. For the weapon. The siren. S and S. Primary attacks deal insane damage. Charm from this weapon has double the effect. And charm's on hit. And charm is that they take 25% more damage from far range. Okay. This is useless now. Let's see this in action. Okay, it's just a weapon. And at far range we do a lot of damage, is what it said. So let's see that in action. Open up. If these are tracking shots, then it's good. Look at the mana going down. If these are tracking shots, then it's good. If it's not tracking shots, then it's not that good. It's a bit weird that the weapon you find later in the game, even though legendary, are not as busted. Ah, you know what? This is... This is god-awful. That's why it's not busted, man. It's god-awful and plus one. And this, the laser beam, obviously, is happy and plus four. Uh, we're gonna go highest attribute. These are tracking. Not only are they tracking, they're insane. We're playing with the music for the rest of the game. No, I'm kidding. We're gonna kill the boss with hyper beam, but still. These are actually insane. This is an insane weapon found. And look at all the mana running out because of how fast the attacks present. Oh yeah, this is maybe the most busted weapon yet. Dash dash. Give me my mana stars. Tracking shots. Borderline global. Gone. <laughs> Still hyper beams better. The, the, the music is better, obviously, than... That's good lucky shot, whatever. Although that's useless for us. Let's not forget that I'm high rolling and low rolling and doing a bunch of different stuff randomly, right? Because we have that ring that says one time you high, you crit, one time you like you roll. 
I mean, there is no downside, actually, right? Because we have 100% crit chance. Yeah, 100% crit chance. So, uh, the lucky hit is just a crit. The curse is just a crit. The critical is just a crit. The ruthless hit. So, one out of every five attacks, it's a ruthless hit. And one out of five attacks, it's a crushing hit. That's what we do there. The ruthless hit is that we do double high-end damage. And the other one is that we do guaranteed high-end damage. I, I, I don't remember which is which. Ruthless is the double high-end damage, and crushing is the guaranteed high-end damage. Music, 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 and we're gonna get blank, and we are still safe, and we still dash, still pick up mana. Look at all the mana running down. A key, highest attribute, obviously. Forget the flask, that's not a thing. Okay, so for the boss, I would say... I play with the music for the first phase and with the hyper beam for the second phase. And we're gonna see the difference in power. Resin, obviously. That's a one final damage tick here at the end. Oh no, points are coming too close. Nope. Nope, they are not. Nobody's doing anything to us. Nash dash, meteors, all the area. Very nice. I wanna see my damage before I go to the final boss here. I'm really enjoying how many legendaries we find. Continue with highest attributes. Especially the moment I enter the room, because of my me having full mana, that does like such a huge difference in damage. What's my damage right now? 6,000 to 12,000. The laser beam, 6,000 to 27,000. Attack speed 10, attack speed 8. If I attack, I want to spend enough mana here to go down. You see my weapon going down in damage? Look at this. And the diff Wait a minute. How much damage did I lose? 8,000 is now. Yeah, we try to spend all the mana if I can do so. Yeah, 3,000. Look at this. 3,000. And now that I have spent all my mana... A thousand damage. A thousand. Well, if I have my mana buff and all my mana... 12,000. Do you see the difference? This is insane, difference-wise. Like, we need to have full mana. Otherwise, we don't do anything. Uh, first phase with music. Second phase with laser beam. Let's see how this can go. Okay, let's go. Well, actually, I'm gonna wait for the debuff to go away. I'm not even gonna attack before the debuff happens. I have enough uh, knowledge of this fight to be able to do this. And now I'm ready to... Ah, let's go music! Let's go music! Uh oh, we got to a hard fight of the fight for no reason. Okay. Wait for the music to fill up. Let's go. Okay, right now he's taking half damage, so this isn't what I want to see, but let's see this with the laser beam now. Laser beam time. Whoa! He lost this much life while taking double, uh, while, while taking half damage. While taking half damage. And now I'm ready to just melt you the next time you appear, when you take full damage. I'm ready. Ready? Come on, let's go. Whoa! Done. Melted! Melted! Man, the Hyper Beam may, might be the best weapon in the game. This here for slaying bosses. This is insanely busted. Uh, you remember my good old friend? Remember the Laser Beam when we had him with us? Is this a legendary Chainsaw Katana? I want to see this. I want to see what it looks like. Okay, it's just a Katana. Whatever, you stay here. We go off with the Laser Beam of the Gods. I have to say, a laser beam, very disappointing what it looks like. If I was the dev, I would say the laser beam should be looking... Uh, first of all, you do need some kind of bar below or to the left or somewhere. There needs to be a bar about the laser beam, how it functions. Uh, when it's active, when it's not, when it's charging. But what I would like it to look like, it would be like a Samus Ultimate from Smash Bros. Then that means that I want it to be shooting the laser like it does right now, but slowly start becoming bigger and bigger at the end. So that it looks like a super duper hyper beam at the end. And then it cools down. That would look so cool in my opinion. Because the hyper beam is a very iconic attack from Pokemon, right? And it also reminds me of... In my, at least in me, it reminds me of the Samus Aaron laser beam. So, um, yeah, it's very, very boring what it looked like. I don't mean that with a bad way. By the way, we could have done so much more damage if I had the passive that i was talking about there is a passive that says every mana star gives you 20 percent more multiplicatively multiplicatively high-end damage so that means at the end instead of having 20 uh, you know a thousand to twenty two thousand whatever i had i would have had something like a thousand to 
100,000. And this is not an overstatement, by the way. Yes, that's how crazy it becomes. As it is multiplicative and it gives you from 22,000, it makes it, you know, times four, times five more. Uh, that's how it becomes 100k. Because I had enough stars to do that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.